Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz. So I have decided to make detailed solutions to the Lead Code bi-weekly and weekly contest on each weekend. So that you don't have to go anywhere else for the solutions. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please leave like because it helps my channel grow a lot. So we are solving the contest 54, bi-weekly contest 54 and it is the problem number 3. Basically we are given a grid which is of uh, m cross n and in this grid we have to find a magic square okay we have to find the largest magic square and what are the conditions for a square to be magic so here the row sum that is 5 plus 1 plus 6 should be equal to all row sums that is 5 plus 4 plus 3 which is equal to 2 plus 7 plus 3 and all the column sums should also be equal to that value here that value is 12 so we can see that all the uh, columns 5 plus 5 plus 2 it is 12 1 plus 4 plus 7 12 all the rows 5 plus 1 plus 6 it is 12 and even these two diagonals 5 plus 4 plus 3 which is the right diagonal and the left diagonal which is 6 plus 4 plus 2 these both are 12 as well so we have to find such a square okay so let me just proceed with the solution now before moving forward if you want to get hired in the top tech companies like Facebook Google Microsoft Amazon then you need to check out interviewing.io you will practice realistic coding interviews with senior engineers working at these places they will give you detailed feedback on exactly what you have to work upon interviewing.io has the largest network of experienced tech interviewers in the world so you can book an interview with as little as 24 hours notice and the best part is you don't have to pay until you get hired so I have provided the link in the description you should definitely go and check it out here what we can do is we can check it for every square first of all all the one by one grids like this this these are all magical so the minimum answer possible is one now we need to further explore that can we make a square uh, can we have a magical square more than this size so let's say we are starting from this position okay we are starting from this position this is our starting point and from this starting point the first square that we are going to search is this one of course first it is magical then the second square will be covering this part a 2 cross 2 square okay then the third square would be a 3 by 3 square this the fourth square will be this 4 by 4 and they cannot be any other square larger than this size because we don't we cannot go down from here okay all right so this is how we are exploring for this particular column now let us move ahead and explore for more columns so we can start like if this is our starting point we can perform the same thing so this will be our starting square then a 2 cross 2 square then a 3 cross 3 square and a 4 cross 4 square okay S and then again again we can start from the next point from here and here and here and so on so let's say this is M and this is N we have how, how many starting points do we have so we, in total we have M cross N starting points okay these all could be starting points but for each starting points how many squares do we have so at max we can have uh, at max we can have m or n square the minimum of these two okay so for each of these starting points we can have m squares so this is how we can explore all the possible squares now how to check whether a square is a magic square or not so for that let us say uh, we have this particular square now in this particular square we will have to calculate all the rows sums okay and all the column sums and of course the diagonal sums so this operation itself is going to take m cross n time okay we will have to calculate all the row sums it will take m cross n times then again all the column sums is going to take n cross m time so in total it will take m cross n time to verify if that square is magic square or not now how many squares in total do we have to verify so this is the time for verifying it is the worst time for verifying one square now in total how many squares are we going to check now for that as we saw that each of these cells could be the starting point of square so each of these cells could be the starting point of square as well and so these and these cells so in total how many starting points do we have m cross n starting points 
okay now for each of these starting points how many square can we make so we can make in the first time we can make n squares for each of these starting points here we saw that uh, this is one square this is two this is third one this is fourth one so it is equal to n whatever is the minimum of m and n so in this case it is n so that is why in total we will have these many starting points and these many squares for each of these starting points and this is the complexity to verify if a square is magic or not so in total it will be in the question we are given that m and n both are of the order 50 so we can consider that these both m and n are equal so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 it will be m or n whatever raised to the power 5 and this will give us TLE time limit exceeded we have to do something better than this so we are having these many squares okay accepted it will be 50 into 50 into 50 that is going to give us 125 into alright now somehow we will have to minimize the complexity of calculating or evaluating or verifying if a square is magic or not now for that we can use pre-computation okay and how can we use pre-computation let me just show you with the help of an example so earlier we were using a complexity of m cross n to verify a particular square now we are going to optimize it using pre-computation so let us say we have the summation we have the row sums okay so that means for each row we have the prefix sum so for that uh, what I mean is 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 5 17 17 plus 6 23 if, like this we have for the second row as well 2 7 8 8 plus 6 is 14 14 18 and similarly for this row it will be 1 plus 5 6 6 10 10 plus 3 13 and 13 plus 2 15 and 1 3 10 13 and 17 so this way we have the row sums and we can simply calculate the summation of this particular row by taking the by taking the difference of this point and by taking the difference of this point and this point so 14 minus 2 which is equal to 12 similarly for this particular row we can subtract 13 and we can reduce 1 from it so 13 minus 1 is 12 and similarly 13 minus 1 it is 12 so we got all the row sums in just using big O of n okay similarly we can get the column sums as well performing the same thing uh, we can keep another matrix which will keep the column summations and we can perform the same operation like this and that will also take big O of n time similarly we can keep diagonal sums for the diagonals and we can simply get in big O of n plus m time so overall the complexity of verifying whether a square is magical or not is big O of n so the overall complexity got reduced from big O of n raised to the power 5 to big O of n raised to the power 4 and which is going to work so this will pass the time limits now you will have to make four extra grids one for the row sums okay one for the column sums one for the right diagonal and one for the left diagonal now let me tell you how to calculate the right and the left diagonals so let us say this is the grid which we have now you can start from this point and you can go like this till the end you can start from this point and go like this till the end you can start from this point go like this till the end similarly for here and for here as well so this, this is how you can make the left diagonals and similarly you can calculate the right diagonals so I think you can implement this I won't be doing the code it is very simple so this is it for the video if you like the video make sure to leave a like and do subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you